Hello everybody, today I would like to update you guys on my Hoya Sarawak which I cut up a while ago on my channel. In that video, if you guys remember, I cut up a mother plant that had a dry root rot. I made two small cuttings and one very large cutting and one of you were questioning in the comments that it is impossible to root such a long cutting and that large foliage will not be able to survive for a long time without roots. So let me update you on that Hoya. And I guess to show you guys, don't be afraid to do whatever needs to be done to your plants. They will be fine. They are just like humans. Their main thing is to survive. <laughs> So I guess let's start with this update. Here is the mother plant in the same pot. She did recover, you guys. Leaves are very thick again and healthy. In fact, I even have a little new growth point right here. I feel by taking that load off and taking off most of the plant off the root system helped her out. And she's doing pretty well. Same pot, same plant. So this is the mother plant. So the two small cuttings that I took that day, there is a good and a bad. I guess let's start off with the bad. Here is one of the cuttings and it was doing very well. It was rooted, it was growing so well. And it looks like this now. You can probably even hear it. It's very thin. It grew quite a bit. And there is a growth point, but I had to chop it again. So this is just the cutting. I will pot it up today. It was growing so well and doing so well in my grow tent. But since just recently I went back to taking care of my plants, I totally overwatered this cutting. It just needs to be rooted again, which is not a problem. This Hoya roots very well and it's very easy Hoya to grow. So. This is the bad, you guys. <laughs> I just chopped it yesterday, so definitely need to put it up today. And here's the good. Here's the second cutting that I took that same day. And look how big she is. So that it, she grew all the way up to here. So it's definitely foot and a half long vine right here. Foliage is absolutely gorgeous and healthy, thick. You could see how much foliage she grew for me. Absolutely beautiful. This cutting looked actually almost the same, except one leaf is kind of messed up right there. But it looked just like this. It was growing just as well as this cutting right here. It's just this one I overwatered and this one I did not. So while this one was in the grow tent, this one was just upstairs in a regular environment. So at some point I just overwatered this cutting in my grow tent. And let me show you that very, very large cutting that I took that same day. And that's the one people were questioning. Well, one person was questioning. So <laughs> this is the cutting right here. It is big, you guys, I know. But I've done it before numerous times when I just chopped and propagated a huge, huge cutting because I didn't want to have a bunch of little ones. And as you can see, it is absolutely beautiful and healthy. And there's a lot of new growth points right here. There's one right here. There's one right here. There is more right here. And here is the root system on this Hoya. It's pretty intense. It definitely needs to be potted up. Absolutely had no problem rooting this Hoya, although it is a pretty large cutting. So one thing I will tell you guys, don't be afraid to do whatever you need to do to your plants. If it's a large cutting like this or even longer than that, Try it out, go for it. If you need to cut it, cut it. It's either that or losing the whole plant. If you feel this is the right thing to do for you and for your plant, then go for it. We all have different type of environments and different type of skill levels and comfort levels with our plants. Longer you have them, more you propagate, more you 
get to know them. And all of this is really just a learning process, you guys. Regardless if it's a success or if it's a fail, although this is not necessarily a fail. Honestly, I'll put it in a cup. It will be just fine in a week or two. Since I've made this video two weeks ago and I am watering in my grow tent today, I just want to give you a quick update on that Hoya Sarawak that was all shriveled and completely had no roots because I overwatered. And here she is. She is doing great. All of the leaves are nice and plump now. The vine is still alive. And also, let me show you the roots right here. There it is. From my experience with Sarawak, she roots really, really fast and very easy. And actually very easy Hoya to grow. So she's doing pretty good, you guys. A quick look-see in my grow tent. There's a bunch of cuttings here, not a lot of plants here. There's the other cutting of Sarawak. That's what's happening here. There's more. There's my anthuriums. This is dead. Ignore this. <laughs> I gotta get rid of it. Look at this. So pretty. This leaf is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. It's giant. So big. And there's a baby leaf right here. Just a quick look. What's going on in my grow tent while I'm here? I guess this is it for this update. Enjoy your plants, cut them, prop them, do whatever you want, and just enjoy your collection and life in general. And don't let anyone stopping you from trying new things and experimenting with your plants. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.